Welcome, my name is Leo and I'm a developer at the Helpful Here team, here to help you master the awesome platform HubSpot. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, what the HubDB table is, how to create one, and how to actually leverage the data inside in a custom module to create super powerful and super dynamic um, website sections. So what will we build today? So um, you can see here, I've already created a very simple HubDB table, and I will show you all the steps on how we get here. And you can see I got some text here and some images, so this will be kind of photographs. And with this, I've created this custom module where the module just drags out all the data from the database and just displays it in whatever way um, we code. So you can see here I created some very basic um, cards here to display um, all the data inside of our table, just to make it simple. So you see, I haven't added any fancy CSS with a background color. I just added a very simple um, layout here with the image and then the description of the image below. But you can add much more um, detail if you want to. But this is what we will be able to create in this module. And if you press on it, you can see we got no options here. This module only drags the data from the database. So we could actually now, before we start, just try to create um, another column here, or another row, I mean, um, just five. Um, and then just choose another image. So for example, we could choose um, this one, perfect. And then just say a computer, just some simple description. And now we publish this, this data. If you go in here and refresh, you will see that our dynamic module actually updates itself um, whenever we update the database. So this is what we will build today. So let's get started. So what is a HubDB table? A HubDB table stands for HubSpot Database Table. And it's basically a collection of rows and columns uh, with data that you could use across your HubSpot CRM. So, for example, we could have a HubDB table for photographies, as I showed you in the beginning, with uh, rows being its photography and the columns being kind of what data contains in a photography. So I chose to um, create a photography made up with an image and the description. But you could, for example, also create the HubDB table for um, your product. So for example, if you sold uh, training equipment or workout equipment, you could have a product for each row and then just have columns for each detail or information about your product. So each product may, may have, let's say, a price, um, a name, some description, some reviews, um, a, a lot more. And then with that data, you could just pull it out to whatever um, uh, kind of section in your HubSpot CRM you want. But in this tutorial, we'll let's see how we could actually use that data in our custom module. So let's first, um, let's see how we could create um, a HubDB table. So first, just go up here to marketing, then navigate to files and templates, then here, HubDB. Then in here, we can see some older HubDB tables I created, but to create a completely new one, we just press here on create table. Then just give it a label. So this is just the name of the table. So I will just uh, say photography and then just create. Perfect. And now we got the empty table. So let's fill it out. So I usually start with uh, creating all the columns. So I know what each row um, or what data each row will contain. So I wanted to have an image and a description for each photography. So let's create those. So to create a column, just navigate up here to the, col um, to the corner, press actions, and then add column. Then here, the label is just uh, the name of the column. So we could just say, for example, image. And you can see here, we get some a name here typed, up, typed out for us as well. And this name here is just the variable name that we will use when accessing this specific column in our code later. So you don't really need to worry about this, but you can see if I, for example, add um, a space here in the um, label, we get our underscore in the name, and that's just because we can't use spaces in variable names. So you can see there that it's just for, for the code. So I don't usually worry about this. Um, HubSpot is really good at giving me kind of um, good names based on the label. Then we don't need a description. So this just is something that to describe the content of this column, but image is predictable, explanatory. And then down here we could set the type. And the type is kind of the data type that you want the column to be. 
So for example, if you wanted a title for the column, you would make use a text in content or a text column type. And if you wanted a kind of a true or false, a true or false data type, you could use this M select type. So this is just a checkbox. And if you wanted to set um, a website for your column, then you could use your URL. But I want to set an image, so I could just press an image here. And this is just the type of the column. Um, so yeah, just to figure out your types of columns before you create the actual columns. That is much easier in my opinion. Now let's just press add column here. Perfect, you can see that we got an image column here that popped up. So let's now create um, the next column. So um, description. Great, we got a good variable name. Then a description is just a text. We could set rich text editor, but uh, I don't need to change the fonts and have super many rows. So a normal text field will do for me. Then just press add a column. Perfect, now we have an image and description. Let's now see how we could actually fill out our table with our photographies. So now, let's now just press add row. And you can see here we got the name column as well. And this is just a default um, column that you get from HubSpot when creating a table. So I could just say one, I don't really care about my name so too much. Then for image, we could just say here shoes. Then I will say, select these waves here. On the description, I just uh, gonna say something simple like a wave. So we know that what that image is about. And then just press row to, and this could take uh, a minute or two. So I will just fast forward and you can see when I fill out this table. Perfect. Now we've filled out our table and we've got um, five rows here with some different images and some different descriptions. Let's now see how I could actually leverage this data in a custom module. To use this data instead of a custom module, we first need to create the custom module. Or one thing before that, we actually first need to publish um, this uh, table. And you can do that by pressing this publish button up in the right corner and um, then just pressing publish. So this just makes sure that the data inside is accessible and throughout our HubSpot CRM. Then just press back. So before we create the custom module, we also need to copy this ID um, so we could access this specific um, HubDB table inside of our code. So just copy that. Perfect. So now to create our custom module, I recommend you watch our old video or previous video about how to create a custom module so you know how to do that. You can see here I've already created a super simple custom module and again if you want to see how to do this and yeah what we're currently looking at I recommend watching that uh, custom module and tutorial. But let's moving on. So you can see here I got a very simple main div here for our uh, custom module and I got some super simple boilerplate CSS code just to make it look good. So now let's see how we could loop over every row in our uh, have to be table and then just create some simple HTML for each card and um, so we could dynamically create a huge super powerful module. So to access the data inside of a hubdb table we just create a for loop here so for hubdb underscore table underscore rows then just parentheses and in here we copy that ID and um, that we copied before. So just paste that in there then another parentheses and then just close the end of four. And then just also, if you're familiar with, um, with Hubble, we also need to have an end for um, four tag here. So this uh, hub db table rows, oh, sorry, for row in, sorry, my bad. So you can see now this code here loops over every row uh, in our hub db table. And now we could actually use this data in a simple way. And before we do that, if you feel kind of that this is too much to remember, I don't think you should do that either. And um, I could show you how to quickly and easily find, you know, the documentation for finding this kind of stuff. So you could just go to Google or whatever, then you search for how to be, yeah, how to be is good enough. Then just press how to be on the top here. Then here's the developer documentation for using how to be. So we could just scroll down a bit. So here you can see the usage of using um, the HubDB table data in your HubDB custom module. So you can see this is what we just wrote. 
Um, so if you don't feel like memorizing everything, just go in here and copy it and yeah, read more about how everything works if you want to know more. But enough about that. So now to create our, you know, car, those cards that I talked about, we first need to create some, um, we need to write some HTML template for each card. So I wanted, you know, the image on the top and the text on the bottom, and I wanted three columns. So to make three columns, I'm gonna um, use Bootstrap and set the width of each card to be um, a third um, of the, so I will just write, uh, create a simple div here, class, call LG4. And if you don't know what this means, totally cool. That's just some, um, some simple um, kind of a simple tag slash CSS class that I've used from a library called the Bootstrap that's built in uh, in the clean theme. So yeah, this just makes sure that each card is a third of the width of the module. So now, to actually use the content, we could say like this. So you know this row, you could think this row of being. Um, the row for a specific, um, yeah, a specific row in our table. So to access, for example, the image, because I want to display the image, we could create an image um, HTML tag, and then for the source, we could just set use these uh, signs here. Then you say row, and this row just refers to the specific row that we are looping through currently. Then you set dot, and then here we can say. Um, the variable name that we set in the how to be table before you know those names that I mentioned that will be used in the code so now we will say row dot and then that variable name so for the image I said image right and then just I will also use dot URL to get the URL of the image so I could display it using this um, image tag so here just close this and then just close tag so perfect now we actually display um, the image for each uh, card. So now to just add the text, the description down below, we could just add, an, add another, yeah, a row kind of Hubble tag again. And then you say row dot, and then the variable name for the description, which was, which, which was description, right? I hope I remember that right. Perfect, there. So you can think now that this loop here loops over every row, and this HTML inside is kind of a template for each card we create from each row inside of our Hubby table. So, and I could also create some simple CSS here for making the cards look a bit better. So I could just say what's gonna add. So you don't have to worry about this, I will fast forward. Perfect. So I just added some simple padding and font size um, to make our yeah, just the entire module look better. So now I've already created a testing page for this module to be yeah tested. So I really just recommend, you know that video I was talking about earlier, and um, just watch that you can see how to create a testing page as well when testing a custom module. So I will just go in here to our my testing page and then just refresh so all of those uh, changes we made to the module is published. So now we could see um, if the module works. So you search on the label here HubDB module. So we can just search for HubDB module, perfect. Drag this out here. And then here, perfect, we could actually see all of that data in our um, HubDB table being um, accessible here, even though I don't have any input fields on the side here. So now we can just try to um, navigate back to our HubDB table and just try to um, change some images and see if that changes our, um, yeah, if those changes occur in our CMS as well. So for the surfing boards, I don't really like those. We could try to replace them to um, this beautiful building here. I think this is in Paris. Um, I hope so. Uh, yeah, okay, we can change this as well. Paris building. And as usual, I'm not win winning any awards for creative naming, as you may notice. And just publish the changes so we get all the data again. Then we can refresh and see if that data actually made any changes to our CMS. Perfect. So you can see how powerful this is. If you create, for example, if you had a website with a lot of products, you can have thousands and thousands um, of uh, rows in your HubDB table. And instead of having, you know, to have some normal module where you create one card at a time, that's kind of super annoying and set options, you could just write some code for the template for a single card or a single row or whatever 
and then just looping over your HubDB table and getting a yeah, dynamic module. And if you want to see, if you want to use kind of a more powerful module with uh, kind of filtering and search, um, I recommend checking out our new module VersaCart um, that we at Clean just released at our new theme or at the Clean theme. So if you want a more powerful card module, I'm happy to recommend that. So check that out. So that was it. That's how you create um, a dynamic module using HubDB table and how to create a HubDB table. And if you got any questions whatsoever over the content I just went over, um, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I'm happy to answer them. Um, but otherwise, hope you're having a blessed day and uh, yeah, see you later.